Hey guys, this is Lewis, aka Nerdoys, designer and builder of the second iteration of the Firewell, which is another subway system built for speedy travel from anywhere across Anwen. Most of the design is mine, but I had help with automation from Cosmic Wolf 77. So, Aron and Syphilif are now officially connected to the Firewell, and that means it's time to release it to the public. Let's begin. Right now, we're standing in front of an access point in Iran, which is just a portal we use to enter the fire rail. Our destination is going to be Syphilif. Step 1. Enter the portal. Step 2. We're going to find the center of the hub. Just look for the stained glass and glowstone. Step 3, find the hallway to the boarding room. We're going to take the ladder over here. Step 4, step on this pressure plate and don't get off. Step 5, look at this fancy panel here with the lights, also called the destination selector. As more are added, you'll see a few buttons, but we're just going to go with the one selected. Step 6. Get in this minecart and enjoy the ride. Step 7. Step off the pressure plate and take this ladder over here back up to the main floor. Step 8. We're going to enter the gate that goes to Syphilif, which is D over here in this case. Most of the time you're going to use an elevator like the one at the end of this hall, but sometimes the portal will be at the same level. Step 9. Exit through the portal and arrive in Syphilif. That's really how easy it is. Before you go out and use the fire rail for yourself, you gotta learn how to read directions first. Otherwise you'll get lost when more routes are added. Before we move on, a brief word about how the fire rail is structured. In the middle here, we got a hub. Well, there'll be several hubs, but they're evenly spaced out and form a grid. These guys are then connected by rail lines and eventually form a road intersection-like resemblance. Next, we have portal segments, which are called access points. These are connected to hubs through small walkway tunnels. So basically, hubs are connected to other hubs through railways, and access points are connected to hubs through walkway tunnels. That's all you need to know. Now, with that fresh in your mind, let's move on. Every hub has one of these help rooms, sometimes with a portal inside. And each of these help rooms has a book that lists all of the access points that exist. Let's open it up. As you can see, we got a list of some possible destinations. Each of them has a common name and each has its own navigation code. Let's look at the code. There are three parts that make up a navigation code. The first two digits represent the north-south axis, the second two digits represent the east-west axis, and the last letter represents a walkway tunnel gate. Imagine the point in the middle of this cross is a hub, more specifically the Iran hub. Let's plot the Syphilif hub, which is directly north of the Iran hub. Now we can compare the position of the Syphilif hub with the central hub, but first let me add some numbers to the axes. So if we were to describe the position of Syphilif, we get the north-south position, which is a 1 toward north. Then we get the east-west position, which is a 0, because it doesn't move in that direction. So we can call this point 1, 0, or more accurately, north 1 centered. If we shorten it to just a few letters and numbers, we get N1C0, which is the first two parts of our navigation code. The last part is just which of the four gates of the hub has the path toward the access point. So, the navigation code just represents the position of a hub and which walkway tunnel to take. 
and each hub is positioned in relation to the Iran hub if it was a center point. That's it. When we have the destination in mind, direct centers is finding a route from one hub to another, like in real life when you know which streets to take to get to a popular intersection. And so, that's it for this tutorial. I like to think this lesson is analogous to learning public transportation. You have to learn the ropes, but the knowledge is with you for life. When you know how to read navigation codes, it's just logic and reasoning to make up a route. Eventually, you'll just know the routes by heart.